All right, the next thing we want to look at are lists. So we've talked about strings, and we talked a little bit about kind of how to evaluate and look for certain characters within a string. And that same mi mindset of string name, dot, and then a function that we saw when looking at, say, for example, um, doing a count, right? So we came up with string name dot count, and then we counted the R's, the capital R's, right? So the string name is what we call something. And this is the function, the functions count, and then what we're looking for is the value within the count that we're, that we're actually doing the count. So that string name dot function, we'll start seeing that come up often in Python. So what is a list and functions within a list? Well, lists are sequences or a sequence of values. So lists are a sequence of values. Uh, lists are very similar to strings with some differences. Because a list can contain any, almost anything, right? I would say it can contain anything. List, a list is a sequence of any kind. while a string is only a sequence of characters, right? If you think about when we were looking at changing 1500 to a string, we went to six characters, right? One of those characters was the period and the other characters were one, five, and we had three zeros in there. So a string is only not a sting, a string is only a sequence of characters, right? A string, you can't change an element within the string, but lists can be changed, right? And lists are created with brackets, And lists, this is weird, can actually contain other lists. So let's show some examples of what we're talking about here. So let's create list one. And we're going to define list one as having the following characters. Three, five, seven, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19. I just made a list. All right, so let's run that list and let's see what I see in my variable view and what I see in my console. So I'm going to go and run this one line. And here I go, I have a list. It ha it's a size of nine. So it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine values. Those values, very similar to the way we kind of laid out that string, value zero is the three. Value eight is number 19. So it goes zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it counts of nine, but if you wanted to just find item zero, you'd have to say, give me item three or item zero. So if I went here and I said, okay, I want list one and I want item zero and I hit ran that line, it should give me back number three. And that's what it does. If I want, 
if I'm sitting here going, well, it's size nine, and I say, well, I want list one, and I want to see nine, it's likely going to give me an error. It's out of range. The index is out of range. So this zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is referred to as the index. That's referred to as the index. So this will give you an error because it is out of range. It is out of, it is out of the index range. All right, let's create another list. Let's, let's create list two, All right? So I don't want you to get hung up that, well, list can only be numbers. Let's put in three and the, and the word hello. And now I want to run that list. Now this should be a list with two elements. Index zero is three. Index one is the word hello. Let's run that. Okay, so it's a list of two and the index zero is three, index one is hello. So if I put in here, list two, and I wanna get index one, that should give me back the word hello back down here. Let's see. And that's what it gives me. And it gives it to me in quotation marks. All right, let's create another list. List three. And I want list three to contain goodbye. I want it to have list two, the number 45, true, and list one. Okay, so that's, I'm putting my previous two lists in here plus the number 45, the word true, and goodbye in quotation marks. Let's run it and see what we get. And that's exactly what I see. So I see goodbye. I see in brackets, list two, 45, true, and then in brackets, I see list one, All right? So, and if I wanted to, I want to, so if we think about this, right, this is, index zero, this is index one, index two, three, and four. So if I wanted to pull in list three, I wanna pull index four and run that, that should give me list one because that is the fourth index, let's see. And that's what it gives me right down here, three, five, seven, nine, 11, 13, etc. So, what if I wanted to extract multiple items? What if I wanted to extract not just one item in the list, but many items in the list? Well, you can do that. You can extract these out. You can extract multiple elements. Right? You can extract individual elements like we just showed. And multiple elements. Remember, you are using the index of the list, where the first index is zero. So let's pull out multiple items. So we'll go up, we'll still stay with list one all right, so I want to go list one, and in list one, I want to pull out 9, 11, and 13. I want to get three items. So it's 0, 1, 2. So I've got to get three. So I want to put three in here. And I could simply put a comma in here. I want three, four, and five. And that should give me those items. Let's see if it does. 
Nope, that's not the way to do it. That's not the way to slice it. The way to slice these things is not by, with a comma around them, or maybe I would do it this way. Put a bracket around that. Bracket around this one. And a bracket around this one, right? So it's telling me I want all of those. Right, let's see if this works. I do a lot of trial and error. Nope, that still didn't like it. So what's a way to get just those items? Well, let's do three colon five. Let's see if that works. So three, two, five. Let's see if that will work. Well, that only gave me nine and 11. So it only gave me zero, one, two, three, and four. It didn't give me five. So it looks like this is the way to do it. But instead of having list one, three to five, I have to go list three up to six, but not including six. Let's run that. That gets me my three items. So this would be the way to get multiple items out of a list. I'm going to do a little research and see if there's a way that I can pull multiple items by listing them separately. Because what if I wanted three, maybe I wanted item th index three and I wanted index eight. Because there's got to be a way to do that. Maybe if I put an and sign, maybe that will work. Let's just try it. I'm, I'm always interested to see if this stuff works. Nope, that just gave me, which, what did it give me? It gave me seven, three and six gave me seven. Zero, one, two, interesting. So I'll, I'll do a little bit of research and see if there's a way to uh, just pull individual items out of a list. Well, what if I wanted to pull the last item? And I don't know how long the list is. Well, an easy way to do that. Well, the last item, if the first item is zero, then the last item would be minus one. So I can also pull out of list one, the last item, whatever it is, and that will should give me minus one. So I, I kind of go back around and pull, should pull item, uh, the item labeled 19. Let's run that and see. And that, that's exactly what it does. It pulls out item number nine, it pulls out 19, which is the last item. All right, so I paused the recording just for a little bit because I wanted to figure out exactly how to pull specific items out of a list. And so I was able to go on to Google and ask that question and found it in what is called stackoverflow.com, stackoverflow.com. And this is the code that I pulled out. So. This is the generic code. And what I want to do is I want to change A to list one. I is the element that we want to have. And that for I in, and these are the indices. So say I wanted, I wanted to pull the seven, which is two. I want to pull the 11, so zero, one, two, three. I want to pull the four. And I wanted to pull zero one two three four five six seven i want to pull the 17. so I, those would be the indices that i would want to pull so what this is saying is list one for i for i in these three numbers or these three indices give me that particular response i'm going to see if it works so i'm going to hit my run this the current line nope still did not like Oh, because I said 17. I did not mean 17. I said it was out of order. Seven should give me the 17. Now let's run it. There we go. I want my 7, 11, and my 17. So this is another piece of code that I came up with because I, I had a question. I want to know how to do it. And I went into Google and stackoverflow.com and I found the answer. And just to bring up the what I was looking at, this is what I, I Googled is um, uh, how to uh, you know, uh, get uh, multiple items from a list in Python. 
get multiple items from a list in Python. And I think this is the, uh, I think this is the one that I pulled. That's all right, right here. So it's, uh, let's see, this is not the, this is not it, but I, I did, I did find it. I must, I must have asked the question a little bit different, a different way than what I have here. But that's the, uh, the code that I was able to get and use that. So you, you, a lot of this stuff is, I'm going to ask myself questions and figure out how to get new things from it. So this is a, a, a nice little new thing that I learned and, uh, you know, uh, we're able to communicate this to you as, as we move through this stuff.